Hi everyone. Historic Authenticity of the Spanish San Felipe of 1690 The San Felipe is one of the most favored ships among the ship model builders. The model is elegant, very beautifully designed, and makes a decorative piece of art. Doubts on San Felipe's historic authenticity I have heard voiced or seen many times, mainly in forums on ship history and ship modeling. There was the contribution of Tony Alvarez Silva of April 1999 in some forum, who went three times to the Museo Naval in Madrid. He could not get any information there whether the San Felipe existed or not. He also contacted Mantua and Artisania Latina and asked them about their model kits of the San Felipe, without getting convincing responses. The three San Felipe ship models in this video were probably made from these kits. The plans of the kits are based on drawings of the San Felipe that were published in the 1950s by the Departamento de Falanges del Mar. Most probably a Spanish three-decker with the name San Felipe did not exist in 1690. As outlined by Mr. Lieber the plans and model ship kits show construction elements of hull and rigging of Spanish ships of the line around 1700. But the question remains, why don't the kit makers refer to a ship like the Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de la Sanamas Nuestra of 1688? That ship did exist and has been described in detail. I would like to quote a work of Dr. Marcus Lieber of 20 Juli 2009 who in recent years has studied the historical background of the first two three-deckers that were launched in Spain. Spanish Three Deckers Around 1700, by Dr. Marcus Lieber, the 20th of July 2009. Many ship modelers are fascinated by three deckers. Heavily armed and with compelling decorations they were symbols of power, representing their nation and royal dynasty. Unfortunately on Spanish Three Deckers Around 1700 there is only sparse literature in English or German, and part of that is not always correct. Spanish literature sources and talks with Spanish historians give new interesting insights on that topic. The Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de las Animas, 1688. The first proven three-decker of the Spanish Navy was the Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de las Animas. Construction of that ship began in 1682 by the shipbuilder de Antonio de Amas at the Calindres shipyard. The displacement of the ship might have been about 1,500 tons. In 1687 Jose Antonio de Gustaneta, 1656-1728, visited the shipyard to catch up on the work of the new flagship. As Admiral of the Spanish Armada Gustaneta did influence the Spanish shipbuilding markedly, till the 18th century. His book Arte de Fabrica Reales of 1691 contains detailed drawings of the Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de las Animas. There is a view of the stern, a side view and a detailed drawing of the stern gallery. The ship is shown as small three-decker without elevated forecastle, carrying 90 to 94 guns. After launching in 1688 the ship was transferred to San Antonio and completed. In May 1690 the masts were set in place. The ship's painting by Martin Amigo is from that year. It is an oil painting on canvas 210 to 135 centimeters. Today that painting is in the parish church Iglesia de la Asunción in Arsenelas, Zamora. The painting is consistent with the drawings by Gustaneta. Both contemporary sources show that the Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de las Animas was designed and built as a three-decker. In the Museo Naval in Madrid there is a model of the Nuestra Señora that has been built to these sources. It is interesting to compare the stern section of the painting of Martin Amigo with the high-resolution photos of the corresponding page of Castaneda's manuscriptum and the stern of the model. The contemporary sources contradict statements that the real Felipe of 1732 was the first Spanish three-decker. Little is known about the subsequent use of the Nuestra Señora de la Concepción y de las Animas. 
On 15 October 1690 the ship left Santonia for Cadiz, escorted by the ships of the line San Carlos and San Juan, and some merchant ships. In the years thereafter she was mainly used in Cadiz. The ship took part in an expedition, in 1700, to expel the Scots from the Gulf of Darien in the Caribbean. In 1702 she was in Cadiz when the city was besieged by an Anglo-Dutch squadron. During the War of the Spanish Succession the ship was in a bad shape. Because of that her guns were taken from her and used by other ships of the line. In 1705 the ship was finally broken up in Cadiz. The Real Felipe, 1732. The ship was named after Philip V of Spain, the first Bourbon ruler of Spain, who in the War of the Spanish Succession managed to defend his throne against the claims of the Austrian Habsburgs. The ship was built by Cyprian Otron and Pedro Boya using the system and the new design specifications of Antonio de Gaztaneta. The work on the shipyard of Guarnizo in Santander was finished in 1732. This three-decker was a giant of 1965 tons that could take up to 114 cannon. At that time only the French Faudroyant was larger. In a register of 1740 the crew was stated to be 1,152 men. The real Felipe proved to be a firm vessel of great firepower. In the Battle of Toulon on the 22nd of February 1744 she was repeatedly attacked by British ships. She could repulse all attacks and fought like hell, according to English sources. However, the ship was damaged so badly that she was never completely repaired, due to high cost. In 1750 she was finally broken up. The real Felipe is supposed to be the largest and most beautiful ship of the Spanish fleet at that time. Strangely, despite of that there is no proven contemporary illustration of her. In books, articles or internet one can find many depictions, but they are all different and none of them is contemporary. Jose Ignacio González Alejero, the former curator of the Museo Naval in Madrid, provided some information. He has published several books about the Spanish fleet, and about the inventory of the Museo Naval. In his publications Novio Real Felipe and El Novio Estatre Puntes en la Armada Española he in detail outlined the history of the ship. So he should know about contemporary sources. He told that there are indeed no proven contemporary drawings or paintings of the ship. Even with the most prominent drawing of the ship one does not know when the drawing was made and by whom. The first illustration of the real Felipe was made in the second half of the 18th century by José Manuel de Moraleda y Montero. The artist was born only in 1750, the year when the ship was broken up. In 1796 a series of engravings about the Battle of Toulon 1744 was made by some artists. The real Felipe is depicted differently each time, depending on the artist. Jose Ignacio González Alejero stated that the ships depicted do not correspond to Spanish ships of the line during the first half of the 18th century. In the 20th century some drawings of the ship were made by Rafael Berenguer Moreno de Guerra. However, his drawings differ. In the book El Buque en la Armada Española of 1981 one can find a somewhat sketchy reconstruction of the real Felipe. This depiction, too, differs from those of the 18th century and looks like being based mostly on imagination. The Origin of the Three-Decker San Felipe In the English and German-speaking countries there have only few models been built of the Spanish three-deckers that really existed around 1700. Instead, the San Felipe became the most prominent one and a well-known ship. The ship is often connected to the Italian historian Vincenzo Lush as originator. Despite of that the draft is older and not of Italian, but Spanish origin. Only the dubious stating to 1690 is mentioned by Vincenzo Lush for the first time. The first drawing of the San Felipe was published in the 1950s by the Departamento de Falanges del Mar. The Spanish historian Juan Carlos Mejías Tavero presented this drawing in his 2006 article San Felipe, Real Lo Ficción. There are marked discrepancies to the drawing by Vincenzo Lush and the Mantua model kit drawings. 
The taffrails at the stern are more elaborately decorated and the ornamentation of the stern is different. Instead of the round ornaments below the galleries there is a deck with round windows. In the book El Buque en la Armada Española there is an illustration of the San Felipe, page 177, which was drawn by Rafael Berenguer Moreno de Guerra. Above that illustration is a commentary interpretation de Berenguer de un novio español de tres puntes de finales del siglo XVII, o principios del XVIII. Hoping to get some more information about the origin of the San Felipe, a Spanish-speaking member of the Arbeitskreis Historischer Schiffbau, Mr. Peter Boomer, phoned the Spanish historian Berenguer. Mr. Berenguer is famous for his many drawings of Spanish ships of war that are cited in many books and articles. The meanwhile 88-year-old explained to Mr. Boomer that the drawing was made by a Spanish ship modeler in the 1950s. According to Berenguer the draft should originally represent the real Felipe of 1732. But because of the poor historical sources a draft was generated that combined some properties of Spanish ships of the line in early 1700s. A connection of real Felipe and San Felipe can be found elsewhere in Spanish literature. Several times models of the San Felipe have been named real Felipe of 1732. Mejí Astavero, in his article about the San Felipe, too, refers to the real Felipe and to drawings of the Arte de Fabrica Reales. One can assume that the San Felipe might be just another interpretation of the poorly documented Spanish flagship Real Felipe of 1732. Irrespectively of this, for a ship modeler the question remains whether the San Felipe has at all properties of Spanish ships of early 18th century. To judge about this we can only refer to the few contemporary drawings of Antonio de Gaztaneta. There is a lines drawing of 1712, that is compared to the lines of the San Felipe. The forms of the hulls look quite similar, indeed. At the top futtocks the San Felipe hull is built much narrower than at the water line. The lines of the underwater hull close to the stern are bent to midships. By that the ship looks especially wide at the water line. This form is shown by a 1712 lines drawing of Gustaneta, too. Even though Gustaneta's lines represented larger two-deckers, the documents show that the San Felipe has some similarity to Spanish ships of the line in early 18th century. As the lines of 1750 show, the form of the hull did change. The ship's side was more vertical now and the underwater hull was bulky towards the stern. Some details of the San Felipe can be found in other contemporary drawings. This ship also has the round gun ports on the forecastle and the poop. The boats pretend as the front bulkhead at some elevation and not at deck level. Someone who knows the San Felipe can recognize contours of the model. Mejí Astavero deduced some details of the decoration from drawings of the Arte de Fabrica Reales. Thanks for watching.